welcome to my channel. Today we are doing something slightly different. You're going to see a hyperlapsed version of my March setup down below while I sit here and tell you what is going on. Something a bit different, thought I'd give it a try. So my theme for March, as you can see, is ladybirds or ladybugs if you live in the States. Here we call them ladybirds. Uh, yeah, ladybirds everywhere. And then I came up with the idea that um, I was going to draw spots on just about everything. So I got a little bit carried away. And this took absolutely ages to do. Absolutely ages. It just went on and on and on. Look, look at all those spots. And then I had to colour it in. I used Tombow jeweled brush pen at number 856 for the red parts of the ladybugs. And... Tombow Jewel Brush Pen N1515 for the black parts. And uh, to do my outlines and borders, I use various different sizes of Faber Castell Pit Artist pens. Um, the insides are usually either an S or an XS, and the outsides of letters and the ladybugs and that are an M size, I believe. I used a uh, Westcott T800 uh, circle sensor and a, uh, let me have a quick look, uh, Jumbo Circles TH826 uh, stencil. They're all linked down below, so if you want to find them, you should be able to without any trouble whatsoever. I mean, you can see how long this took. This is hyperlapsed at like speed of 20, and I'm still doing it nearly two minutes later my hand hurt <laughs> but look at the cute little ladybugs yay the trouble is when you draw everything in pencil and then you erase over it um the eraser sort of fades the black so i had to sort of go over and do it all again because i wanted that that nice black line so here we are, we're going on to my square tracker. Um, if you want, there is a slowed down explanation of how I do this, and I will link that up in the cards, and I'm, I'm going to try and get that uploaded tonight as well, um, because I actually explained what I was doing as I was going. Uh, it's actually clearly very simple once you get going. Um, it's just, you know, it just looks complicated, but it really isn't, it really isn't. Um, basically your outside square you do a dot every three and one quarter squares okay and then on your inside square which is four squares by four squares you do a dot every half a square and then you diagonally or you horizontal or whatever you go from the inside to the outside on every dot so your dot at top of square one goes to your dot at the top of square one on the outside and the inside then your dot at half goes to your dot at three and a quarter and you just go all the way around like that and you have a nice even tracker like this then I write down my um what I'm actually tracking down below because there's not enough room to write it um so I just put numbers in and then the the key if you like I usually put it above it but because I decided I wanted a title in um you know because of all them bloody dots <laughs> yeah because i wanted a title in um it had to go underneath and it wasn't until i'd drawn it all i thought oh crap you know so i had to think fast on the old uh on the old key so here i am again coloring it i didn't draw ladybugs on every page um sometimes i just did ladybug writing and uh I was quite pleased with how this turned out actually I, I quite I quite like this and then I came up with the idea while I was doing this where I thought you know you could alternate your pens to fill in the trackers as well because um, although I colour code every day obviously I've got as it you know how it starts so for example on this one the numbers around the outside which are usually black um, I've actually done in red as you can see there and the numbers outside I've done in red and I do a similar thing on this which is my Instagram tracker the tedious thing is just drawing it all out isn't it I know how I want it to look but the stupid thing is, is I could probably photocopy it and then print it as I set up my book but 
Let's stuff them in that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Another ladybird, look. And I just used used my um, circle thing there, as you can see, just to make different sized dots all over the bloody letters and the ladybirds. God, it looks so much faster, but it's hyperlapse. I wish it had taken me this long to do it. <laughs> it really didn't. <laughs> And then I just wrote the date down the side in red ink joy pen. I also used a black ink joy pen from time to time. Now I am doing my card of the day spread. And what this is, is I pull a tarot card every day, or I try to. That's the plan, but it doesn't always work like that. Um, and I write down what's in store for me for that day. I've, I've already failed because I haven't even done today's yet and it's the 1st of March already. I'm so behind. It's, how, it's just, yeah. So this is a very, very easy spread. It is literally two lines per day um, and I just board around it all really and then just write the date down the side. Um, the thing that took the time again was this bit. The colouring in and the titles. Normally I just chuck washi tape up and be done with it. I did get a lot of my audiobook done, mind, <laughs> while uh, while doing this. But a few, you might see me a few times sort of flex my hand after I put a pen down. Oh, my hand ached. And this was actually this actually took me two evenings to do all in total because. I ran out of time and inclination, I think, really to do it. Now I've numbered those with a pit artist pen because I will colour in those boxes. Oh, this is one of my favourite spreads. This is my about me spread and this is where I get to draw my little fat woman. I found her on Google and um, she has developed, I've probably been doing her now, what, about four or five months? And although she's always in the same pose, she's always holding that tape measure and going, oh, <gasps> you know, she's developed. She had sort of straight hair. And then last month she had um, a bun. And now she's got her dreads because I got my dreads back. And um, yeah, other than that, she sort of looks pretty much the same. And I'm, I'm really proud of her. Really am. Because she's actually really easy to draw. I think I just titled in typed in some like fat women on google images and found her um so yeah yeah I'm, I'm i'm really pleased with how she comes out this page takes like, quite a while to do as well because i um watercolor her in a minute as well my watercolors are a mix of uh is it Primas and Jane Davenport's? And I think there's a couple of eclectic scribbles ones thrown in as well, but I don't use those ones very often. What kind of looks so much fun at this speed, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting getting better at drawing them. I love this shade of purple. It's just, it's awesome. I think this is a Jane Davenport one. And every time I do it, I think, I shouldn't have done that on the t-shirt. I should do that on the leggings because otherwise I've got a like, she always ends up clashing because I never know what colour leggings to do. There you go. There she is. <laughs> Doesn't she look lovely? And here I am doing my mood and pain trackers. Um, 
I firmly believe that mood and pain are quite connected. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, they go in. I think I put everything is awesome. And it always reminds me of the Lego movie when I put that for the top mood and fuck off for the bottom and then agony and none for the pain. And now we're getting on to my sleep and my steps tracker. And I had a little ladybug in there. I did actually go back a bit later on and add a ladybug next to the sleep as well. These are very, very, very easy trackers. They're so basic. Um, the sleep one on the left half of it, um, well, on the right half of it is my sleep as my, as recorded by my Fitbit. And I drew do that as a simple bar graph and then, or a line rather. And then on the left part of the sleep tracker, I do a bar graph and I rate my sleep on how good I feel about my sleep the next morning. So even if I only got three hours, if I got a good three hours, I can put that, yeah, okay, I got, you know, I slept from 10, 10 till one, but I slept really, really well because sometimes that does happen. And then other nights I can go to bed at 9 p.m. and be in bed for 10 hours and have a crappy, crappy night. So yeah, it all goes on how I feel that section of it and the other part on what my Fitbit says. The steps, I record my steps and my miles as per what my Fitbit tells me. And it's just a simple bar graph and I color code each day um, as I do everything else. These are probably the two trackers and my mood and my pain that get filled up the whole month. The other trackers, I tend to sort of fail towards the end of the month. But I always fill these ones in. Now I'm onto my chores tracker and this one is the one that probably takes the longest to do. It is tedious as hell to draw out, but it looks so damn effective once it is up and running it really does um it's probably the one that gets the most attention on social media as well and i know that a few people have um emulated this but and i'm really really pleased when people do um i think it's great you know it just takes so fucking long to do <laughs> so but it's very easy once it's in place and it looks great so now all I'm doing I just really couldn't face any more bubble writing so I use my black ink joy and my red ink joy to do the titles and then to do the um, the date on the tops of the boxes I alternated in black and red and then I also alternated in black and red to actually list the tasks I filled it all up my black pen and then went back and filled in the gaps as it were because my um, chores are written out in order that they're done um, because it just makes it easier right that's it you're going to get um, a bit of a sort of slowed down flip through of it so that you can have a proper look um, please feel free to give me this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe by clicking the book down in the bottom corner or the subscribe link that comes up in a moment um, you know, leave us, leave us, leave us kisses and, and, and all, because my son likes kisses and I like all that too. Take it easy, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks very much for joining me today. Have a fabulous one, whatever it is that you are doing. Take it easy, guys. Love you loads. <laughs>